Hello everyone. Today I have a junk journal to share. Um, it's the simple and uh, not a lot of embellishment. For this one, um, I didn't make a junk journal for months and um, I saw a lot of ladies here uh, made a lot of beautiful junk journal so I want to just um, try to make one it's you know when you see something beautiful it's kind of inspired just try to do one anyway for this one is the um, class envelope and I believe it's um, 9 by 6 for the cover and um, I just decoupage the napkin on the book page and um, just glue it on the cover and I have a layer of um, geez, cloth that I mod podge on to and then um, I just cover with this piece of um, lace fabric and then I just pop the um, flower applique on the top here because I love the bird image I don't want to cover um, it and on the back it just like uh, a piece of paper pattern papers and this is the I decoupage the leaves on the book page as well and just uh, glue it on and the closure is just a seam binding so and it's just the inside I'm sorry for the light because it's very cloudy here today and um, for the front cover I just cover with the pattern papers inside and um, I just make a pocket out of the book page I saw this um, idea from Pinterest so I just use the book page to make a pocket and then just uh, layer some applique that I got from the I think it's a dress and then I just cut a little piece of it out and then I just punch out the leaves and use these flowers paper flowers that I got from um, a swap one time and there is the pocket here and with a tag this is the cut apart that I left over from um, the uh, graphic 45 sweet sentiment collection so it's just the pocket here and also pocket on the back and I just made this um, tag and then it's just a journaling card that I made um, I used the image from Pinterest and then just use some uh, program to kind of make the uh, journaling card out of it but I cannot remember which one I used anyway so that's the back plane a lot of space to write on and just the text that I made just pop the flowers on and some small piece of lace and they just the leftover papers so I just cut it and make it like a a piece for journaling just pop it back in there so I fix it later and I just use some uh, corner stamp to stamp here and there on the page and uh, the paper is all coffee dye and they just uh, paper clip that I just clip on the um, leftover papers and the another and make journaling card I love the roses and the pattern papers that you see in this 
uh, journal is from K and Company papers. I have this for years, and I try to use them as much as I can. So you know, they not just sit on the shelf anymore. I have a bunch, and uh, this book page pocket. This is the idea that I saw from um. Uh, the lady, I'm not sure her name is Laurie. Um, if I say it wrong, I'm sorry. But her uh, YouTube channel is Girl on the Ridge, and um, she has a tutorial on how to make this. But she sew um, the piece together, and I don't have a sewing machine, so I just glue them on together, and I just have some um, tags that I stamp, and then some index card and the journaling. I love these lily flowers. So, and it just to stamp on the page. Like I said, I leave a lot of space for writing. It's also the K Company flowers pattern papers. It's really nice. And it's just the banner that I make out of leaf over papers, and I pop some lace and. Um, like the, I cannot remember what is that core, but anyway, just some piece of, um, lace and, and then just glue it on. And I have this, um, journaling card is left over from Graphic Fortify as well. And they're just the leftover over papers and the tags there. And they just flip up here and write something here. And I just use the stem, little stem, to kind of be um, a closure for this one because I don't want it to just, you know, flip like not close like this all the time. So I love the papers. And it's another book page pocket. Just lay laces and the sticker on so it's pretty i love the idea and it's just a journaling card and the tags in this page it's just the same thing leave over papers and the um journaling card that i just used a paper clip to clip it on and this is the middle of the signatures <clears throat> I just flip the papers to make a, a pocket out of it and just tuck in some uh, index cards and this also the leftover paper so um, I just use it as a journaling just do some stencil inside and I use the stem to kind of be a closure for this one and this size also the same thing just do that. Just some stencil here and there. Just tuck in there. And empty page to write. And this another uh, book page pocket. But this one has a belly band here. So um, only you not only just tuck in there. Just the journal. I love the image tuck in there and also like can tuck a little piece in the belly band as well I love it really love the idea but I wish I have a sewing machine to do it this empty page and they just the another um, banner tuck here on the top and pattern papers Little page pocket here and the journaling card. Love, love the roses. Beautiful papers. And they just the pocket that I use the um cut apart from the um, graphic forty five, and this just the um labelable papers. And so inside, 
in a tag that I stem on. It's going to be here. So, another one. I just have the um, lace applique there and then put a bow on. And that is the Germany card. Another corner tag, which is it's also flip, and then just tuck it back in. And on the back, I just used the uh, lace, white lace, to make a pocket out of it, and just tuck some leftover papers on there. I kind of like it. But um, the only thing that I don't like, I mean, after I did it, is just to mod podge the, um, the papers inside. Um, it just make the, the cover stiff. I mean, some people, they might like it because it's more um, sturdy and because um, it's the envelope is kind of, like um not sturdy but when you mod podge it it's really really like i don't know but i just maybe next time i would just do mod podge in the front uh instead of both side uh inside and out because i don't like it's stiff and whatever it's just my personal <laughs> anyway um, this is the journal that I want to share today and I'm going to start the next one so um, This one I'm gonna keep for myself I'm not like that kind of like person You know to write a lot, but I was just try to use it because sometimes I just forgot what I want to do just I need a list so it's better just to start using um, the lease book or what you call it um, anyway thank you so much for watching and I will um, come back with another journal uh, just give me a comment how you think about this one if you like it or if you have anything to uh, help improve my work just please feel free to share and um, I will come back with the next project. So thank you so much for watching and have a good week. Bye.